It is happening. It is 6.30 in the morning and apparently they are on the way and should be here by 7. <sighs> I'm excited. Okay, last preparations in the garage here. Removing the shingle panels, removing all the cables here from the driveway because there will be 16 vehicles here. No, I don't know. Maybe two or so. I don't know. So we want to say goodbye to our test controller here. <sighs> where, the, where the Hyundai shingle panels on the driveway have been connected for a while for testing purposes. And we can reconnect the cable now to the Phoenix inverter here because yeah, yeah, I had to borrow the I had to borrow the VE direct cable from this device. And whenever the inverter kicked in, it showed wrong numbers on the VRM because it was basically just a load, but it didn't know that this is our generator. So anyway, it's only the pool fence system with 20 watts, 21 watts. <laughs> only the pool fence system. All right, better get cracking. Half an hour time. support look at this wooden support it's still sticks <laughs> that's how long the pedals were there it is super windy today i had to use four magnets here to hold the sign so it's just make them feel at home. <laughs> it is 6.50. I'll open the gate. First car to arrive, more to come. So they are taking now a measurement of the roof space here to uh, plan the layout for the solar panels. So we've got now three vehicles here on the trailer full loaded, the Hyundai shingled panels, the phono panels. We get cracking today. Yay. Full pallet full of panels here. Nice. So they are preparing the rail system here on the west roof. So they have now prepared all the solar panels 
in uh, two different ways so one of them has the positive negative here on one corner and the other one is spread like this so one is here one is on the other side because each string needs to have a disconnect point on one end of the panels on the top and this basically replaces the disconnection switch we had here as a rule in australia before which is totally nuts so there needs to be positive negative of each string easily accessible from the roof in case of an emergency you can simply disconnect the string well i guess this is what our combiner box is for as well but hey that's the rule look at these nice panels here half cut phono 540 watts one panel <laughs> so there's a hundred hundred dollar bet going on here with these guys if you can get the trailer out all the way back to the road in one go Gonna go over the rock. <laughs> no, it slaps him in the face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I parked the Tesla far, far, far away. Let's see how far down they are. Oh yeah, they're almost out. They made it with a trailer. <laughs> Insane. Good job. They're crazy guys, huh? So the solar charge controllers have just arrived. These are the 15070TR for screw terminal VE CAN. So they should have like um like um so yeah here we can see the VE CAN ports, both of them. If this is your first or last device in the in the row, you need to terminate one of these um, terminals here. And if not, it goes here in, they are out to the next one, next one, next one, and first one and last one needs to be terminated. I'm not sure if they actually Put terminals in here as well no terminals included that's all right i've got enough of them okay this is almost 10 o'clock they have all the hooks on the roof and they're waiting for the rails to come in now all the solar panels are prepared i think we are in a good spot we are down to 14 uh, percent because only 230 watts in and 300 out uh, i need more solar so and the new rail system has just arrived as well and they're starting I think on the garage to installing them now let me get some panels installed hopefully buying some lunch for the boys lunch is ready lunch is ready lunch is ready in five five so Thank better you. wash your hands now. Oh, oh right. Sweet, yeah. Good. Should we tell him as well? No. Hey, no. Sure. no. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Making noise. So they have mounted the both solar charge controllers already. And now they are cabling the um, and now they are cabling the solar isolators here. We're getting done slowly. The cable runs over there through our hole into the here it comes there we go and they're using four millimeter earth cable for that right ah secured the ladder here nice ah that's pretty much how it um looked like just last week <laughs> And they haven't started with this 10 degree angle situation support thingy here. So that'll probably come tomorrow. Lots of sunshine here. Oh yeah. So as you can see here, they are grounding or earthing only every second rail, not everyone as we did before. 
see here's still my old cable and you can see I've got so many clamps on there because we have basically earthed all of the rails but they do only every second they say it's enough that's all it needs and that's actually a good idea to put this conduit underneath the panels put your earth cable through it and then you can feed your solar cables as well through it and then they go down in the roof i'm really keen to see how they do this with the roof entrance there so that'll be next yeah and here as we have discussed before on the channel they're using the cold gel paint spray protect the copper from oxidation that's what it is for look here i like these feet here how they are shaped they're actually sitting very nice around this profile that's pretty cool they are far more sturdy than the ones i had and then we chuck some screws and yeah you know, and saw and stuff all right yeah. Ah, and here we've got a little bit of a cable tray situation so this is the where the cable runs along to support it and it goes through here and then pokes through the hole here because this is where the panels are above interesting and here's our solar combiner box already connected nice oh, I totally forgot to film they just left it is uh, 344 these are nice working hours right but now they started at 6 actually this morning so yeah so guys i think this was day one of the installation here and when they come back tomorrow they will start mounting the solar panels on the roof they still have some bit of cabling to do from the other shed through our magic hole there they were actually really impressed about that it's like a tunnel you know you can't send someone through it and then we will use the DC circuit breakers up in the combiner box as well to connect all our solar strings together. Because the electrician said it doesn't matter if you use fuses or breakers these days, as long as they are DC breakers with the correct rating. And I use my carport here a bit as a storage location, which is fine. And now we've got 28 of these panels sitting here and six of these large, huge ones. They are massive. We should actually get one out of the sun here and do some testing with it, right? Okay, let's do this quickly. And we won't tell them. <laughs> how do you how do you carry this one out just by yourself? This is <laughs> now this is impossible to carry. Holy shit. They are heavy. Oh wow. They're like 29 kilos. Get this bat. Ooh, almost perfect. Okay, let's give it a try. But um, I'm not super confident we will see much power because it's already afternoon. Try the new solar panel tester. Because we have to use this one. This is a 540 watt panel. 540 watts. Wow. Open circuit voltage 49 volts and the voltage and power point 41.35 and 13 amps. Is that what this one can do? Yeah, this can do 35 amps apparently. <laughs> apparently, yeah. Ooh, nice. Nice display. It's a bit. A backlight would be good. Okay, let's do the oh, backlight. There's actually a button for it. <laughs> That's insane. Nice. So we have 48.8, 40, 49 volts. And we do the auto MPP. And it gives us all the information in one view here. Testing. 500 watts we get. 39 volts, 12.7 amps. Yeah, 500 watts in the afternoon sun. There you go. Let's see how much power we still get here. 1.2 kilowatts per square meter. 
It's still full power. Okay, let's measure again. 490 watts. Okay, so I'm covering exactly the left hand side of the panel. Let's see if this gives us 50%. Yes, it does. 244 watts. So that's exactly 50%. All right, let's do the same. The same this way. I need another cloth. The panel is so big. <laughs> Okay, we have now shaded just the top of the panel. And we have 2.49 watts, 2.4. So again here with the half cut panels, it totally depends how you shade the panel. If the shading comes from here, it's all fine. The shading comes this way, it's all shit. Yeah, I mean, this is almost expected, right? Okay, so I've now shaded one quarter of the panel. See what we get there 250 watts as well so it doesn't really matter if i shade just one quarter or half of the panel this way it's the same same out same power output interesting okay let's remove the cloth yep and bam 480 watts i wonder how they perform in these shading conditions as we have on the garage very often here like like this one here you know just um i'll um i'll set it up over there again just um just get me this stick there come on guys you could have get me this stick okay now actually now so this is probably this is probably a 10, 10 degree angle now. There's my tester. Come on, tester. What do we get? 40, 46 watts. All right, okay. So you would need another 540 watt full cell panel next to it to compare, which we obviously don't have. And because this is a half cut panel, it supposedly has better low light and shading performance. 46 watts. That's less than 10% of the maximum power. I don't know. Well, at the end, it is just what it is, right? So what do we get here? 500 watts, a little further this way here, only 220 watts per square meter. And over here, there's maximum shading, only 86 watts per square meter. So if you consider all that, is 40 49 watts is still pretty good then actually what we get out of it we've got six panels so six times uh, 300 watts i'm not saying no to that and there's actually there's actually more sunlight on this roof at the moment here in the afternoon <sighs> i guess we will test all this on the weekend when we have all the panels installed uh, i'm not even sure if they will install these ones tomorrow here because this <laughs> because this 10 degree angle rack is still missing so maybe this test has to wait until next week but that's fine as long as we get something connected tomorrow to get me out of this um to get me over this 16 percent i have <laughs> that would be nice okay guys so far this video from today first day of installation keen to see what's happening tomorrow if we can get some solar installed connected and then afterwards we do a full roof inspection and see how everything is installed how these disconnection points are actually labeled and and done which is a totally stupid regulation again so thank you very much for watching thanks for all your amazing support here for all your great comments and until the next video guys you stay charged stay safe and thanks again for watching see you then bye bye oh they're huge